Hi everyone, my name is Ksenia and if you're here you will probably like sustainability, zero waste, minimalism and mental health content. It's January and many of you probably know that it's also veganuary, meaning that a lot of people are trying plant-based or vegan diet and um, trying to keep it for one month and then see if they like it. I think it's definitely useful to try, but you can try anytime. It's never too late to go plant-based. And you definitely shouldn't feel like because you missed January, you shouldn't, you know, you should try next year. It doesn't mean that. Please try it anytime you feel like it. I decided to make this video a two-part video. Uh, firstly, I'm going to talk about my own experience <clears throat> becoming a vegetarian and what I think about ex-vegans. And then uh, in the second part, I'm going to share more tips and recipes and what you can try and eat and how it's easy to try plant-based diet. I think I um, mentioned before that I only stopped eating meat and fish in April 2019, so relatively recent. And it took me a long time to fully transition to a vegetarian diet, mostly because of my problem with my eating disorder, because I didn't have a healthy relationship with the food and restriction didn't work for me. Partly, I think, why I failed to switch sustainably to a plant-based diet was mostly because I was seeing it as a weight loss scheme. The first time I tried uh, being vegan was when I tried to be a raw vegan, which is overall a very challenging uh, diet, mostly because it was winter, so it's not many fresh vegetables and fruits that you can support yourself with. And also a lot of Vegetables and nuts can be quite aggressive for the stomach if consumed raw. So it didn't work out for me. I think I did lose a lot of weight, but it all uh, came back once I switched to a normal diet. So it was the first experience. And like I said, it was not uh, long lasting because I didn't know what was good for me and I was trying to lose weight, not caring for the environment. But I tried to stop eating meat on and off, but I felt hungry and cold a lot of times, which I think is often a complaint from people who try plant-based diet. And the reason is that I didn't consume enough fats. I think that Everyone definitely knows about the value of proteins now. And <laughs> I know that many vegans get constantly harassed about the question Where do you guys get your proteins? So <laughs> now everyone knows that uh, there are a lot of plant proteins in nuts and legumes so that you don't need to actually eat any more protein to have enough protein in your diet. Fats are being often dismissed as unhealthy or useless. I don't know. <laughs> I think everyone is obsessed with carbs and protein, but not with fats. And actually getting enough fat from plant products is crucial if you are trying plant-based diet. At least I think so. That's why it's important to eat a lot of oils and fat uh, vegetables like avocado and nuts to, to feel satiated and um, not to feel cold and hungry all the time. This understanding of macronutrients that I need to have a sustainable long-term diet helped me to just stop eating meat and fish because I could afford it with my well-being and with my health 
meaning that I had such a balanced nutrition overall that taking proteins from animal source was not necessary. Plus, if you're a vegetarian, you still eat eggs and cheese and dairy, so it means that you still get plenty of animal proteins and fats. And here is also the discontent that I have with the former vegans, with ex-vegans that say that they had to quit a vegan diet because of their health repercussions. It makes me wonder then what kind of nutrition plan they had earlier because it might be just it's not that the vegan diet is unhealthy it's mostly that they were eating unhealthy because if you're vegan it doesn't mean that you automatically eat healthy i think i'm going to receive a lot of hate now but the most important thing is to eat a balanced diet making healthy choices and eating lots of fruits and veggies. Red meat shouldn't be demonized as much as it is, but at the same time, it's a luxury, which is definitely not meant to be consumed three times a day or even every day. The body doesn't need red meat every day. I think it has even been linked with colon cancer and that's why eliminating red meat actually helps with your colon health. At the same time, if you are a vegan and you're eating unhealthy and you are not having a balanced diet, you don't have enough proteins and fats and you get carbs or you get all of these from processed sources and don't consume enough fresh fruit and veggies then obviously you're going to be unhealthy, you're going to feel your health declining. It has been proven and I'm going to link a podcast which I actually love so please um, listen to listen to them. It's podcast Science Versus by Gimlet and they have two great issues on plant-based milks and also on vegans where they link all the credible studies about a vegan diet and actually find out that you know no humans don't need milk to have healthy bones there is plenty of calcium and vitamin d in broccoli for example and then yes there is one ingredient that vegans are actually missing because it's mostly in animal products which is vitamin b12 this is why vegans have to take the supplement, which I do as well as a vegetarian. I think that when I see the stories of people stop being vegan because of um, their health being ruined by their uh, eating habits, eating preferences, I think that they are making a disservice for other vegans by not saying exactly how they have been eating, was it sustainable in the long term, was it just eating juices, because if you just <laughs> do juicing, you're going to get sick. I think this is what uh, is important to keep in mind, and I'm going to link videos by other vegan creators on the phenomenon of ex-vegans for you to, to watch. I think this is it. This is my rant about uh, <laughs> uh, becoming plant-based and former vegans. Uh, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the video next week about um, useful tips and tricks to try and eat more plant-based, no matter which month it is. And as all YouTubers and vloggers are supposed to say, please like this video, hit the notification bell button and subscribe.